as we begin our observance of Stations of the Cross on this Good Friday afternoon. We'd like to welcome all who are worshiping with us virtually. A little bit about the Stations of the Cross. They were first discovered or written about in the 380s by a Spanish nun named Egeria or Etheria, who was on a four-year pilgrimage to the Holy Land where she saw the liturgical rites for Holy Week that had been implemented by the great Bishop Cyril of Jerusalem. She wrote about these events and practices and sent letters to her fellow nuns back in Spain, and that's how many of these practices then began to spread throughout Europe and eventually around the world. In the original stations of the cross in Jerusalem, of course, the practice was to follow the very, to the very places where the events commemorated took place. Normally at Holy Comforter, we walk around the campus, but given the conditions under which we now live, we are doing a stationary Stations of the Cross. Wanted to remind you that the bulletin containing the stations can be found on the parish website if you would like to follow along. And with that, let us turn to the beginning and the opening devotions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall show forth your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. Amen. Amen. Father, Creator, we disfigure your world. Lord, have mercy. Son, Redeemer, we reject your sacrifice and crucify you to endure. Spare us. From the grip of all that is evil. Free us. For, for you, you reign in the glory of the power, power that, that is love, now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Christ Jesus, born of our sister Mary, you did not account, account equality with God as a thing to be grasped, but took the form of a servant and suffered death on the cross. Help us to learn from you as we enter into contemplation of your last journey on this earth. Amen. Amen. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The high priest began to question Jesus and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said to him, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of God and coming with clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, Why do you need more witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as being needy of death. Betrayed, deserted, alone. Jesus stands before an unjust judge. Dry palm branches crackle under the feet of the crowd. Soldiers rain down punches and crown him with thorns. Jesus is condemned to die. Let us pray. Lamb of God, who came to take away the sins of the world, you knew no sin and yet were sentenced to death. Assist us by your mercy to see the beams in our own eyes and to remove them before we look to the speck in the eyes of others. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
Jesus begins his terrible journey up the hill to Calvary. The weight of the cross bites into his shoulders, and he is reminded with each step that the pain he bears will be the cause of our joy. Despite his pain, his mind is filled with the thoughts of others. Splinters. Heavy, rough wood. The scent of the hill country. A single beam laid across the back of a carpenter. The crowd jeers. The procession to the place of the skull begins. Let us pray. Obedient Lord, you asked us each to take up our cross and follow you. Then you took up your own cross and led the way, not just to Calvary, but to the empty tomb and beyond. Give us the courage to follow where you lead. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus stumbles along the hot, dusty, rocky road. He is crushed under the weight of the wood and is bruised and beaten down by the soldiers. He falls, for even though he is fully God, he is filled with the weakness of being fully human. This is the wonder of our God become flesh in Jesus. Stumble, waver, collapse. Jesus' sweat mingles with dust as he falls to the earth. The weight of the sins of the world on his shoulders, barely able to stand. He cannot carry the cross without falling. Let us pray. Lion of Judah, you know our weaknesses, our temptations, and our failings. Support us by the power of the Holy Spirit that we do not stumble so as to fall away from you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, tired, sore, bruised, bloody, and on his way to his own execution, looks up to see the face of his mother along the road. What a sorrowful moment for both of them. No words are exchanged, but Jesus can see the sadness and pain on her face. He knows that she was chosen for this road, chosen to bear him into the world, but he still knows her pain. Mother and child, Madonna, Joseph has died. There is no angelic choir, no shepherds, no wise men. Gone are the gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Mary sees her battered son through the veil of tears. Let us pray. Son of God, Son of Mary, the crowd heaps scorn and turns the blade that pierces your mother's own soul. Grant us the grace to see those in needless suffering and to reach out to them, showing the love you wanted to show to your mother Mary 
as you stumbled towards Calvary. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. The cross is laid on Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Just when Jesus begins to think that he can go no further, just when the soldiers begin to doubt that he can make the long journey up the hill, they come upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who is coming in from the country, and they lay on him the cross to carry behind Jesus. Simon feels the bite of the wood on his shoulder, and he wonders why he, an innocent man, should be asked to do this. Stranger, neighbor, friend, Simon takes up your cross, in so doing, he takes up his own. Another innocent man joins the procession to Calvary. Let us pray. Holy and blessed one, you came not to be served, but to serve. Bless all who, following your footsteps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage, they may minister to all in need. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. A woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Blood from the crown of thorns and sweat from the hard work of, work of carrying the cross mix in Jesus' face. This is not an easy way to show love. The blood and sweat drip from him and sting his eyes. From out of the crowd steps a woman named Veronica, who lovingly wipes the face of Jesus. It is a simple but important act of love and compassion for the giver of all love and compassion. Cloth, sweat, blood, icon. Legend tells of a woman wiping Jesus' face and gaining an image of Christ painted in his sweat on her cloth. In revealing the suffering of others, we too find the face of Jesus. Let us pray. Emmanuel, God with us, you came as the image of God made flesh, and we scorned you. May we seek not to do great things in your name, but to honor you with small acts of mercy done with great love. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has been racked by pain, but he has been comforted by the care of Simon and the woman we call Veronica. He continues on his journey feeling the rhythm of the road beneath his feet. As he falls again, all the pain is renewed. But he rises again and continues on his way. He is thinking about you. Oppressed, 
afflicted, silently suffering. Simon carries the cross, yet Jesus cannot continue. He bears our infirmities and carries our sorrows. Crushed under their weight, Jesus falls once more. Let us pray. Compassionate Christ, all we like sheep have gone astray, turning each of us to our own way. Grant that when we turn from you, we may return from going our own way to following in yours. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As Jesus walked along the road toward his death, some people laughed. Some stood in silence and wondered who he was. Some cheered. But one group of women, seeing him hurting, tired and beaten down, cried. The small act of faith and courage in the face of hardship supported Jesus in his grief, perhaps when he needed it most. Tears, <coughs> wailing, daughters, mothers, grief. Women beat their breasts and mourn openly for the Son of Man. But his concern is for them and their children in the days of woe yet to come. Let us pray. Son of man, you told the women of Jerusalem to weep not for you, but for themselves and for their children. Give us the gift of tears for our own failings, that we may mourn the ways in which we fall short of the glory of God and return to you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus can now see Golgotha in the distance. He knows the end is near. He is parched and dry so weak from the loss of blood and the pain that he can barely stand, much less carry the heavy cross. He falls again. Still, the soldiers mercilessly urge him on. Brutalized, dazed, beyond strength, now nearly on Calvary's broad summit, Jesus collapses. Poles long set into the ground are silhouetted against gray clouds. Impatiently, Jesus is pulled up and shoved angrily toward his death. Let us pray. Loving Lord, you fell that we might rise, and taught us that unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Help us to die to ourselves so that we may live to you and bear much fruit for your kingdom. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, 
the King of Peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered Jesus wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill the prophecy which says, They divided my garments among them, they cast lots for my clothing. King of glory, king of peace, stripped bare. The crown of thorns is all that remains. One possession remains, his life. Holding nothing back, Jesus offers that last gift. Let us pray. Bread of life, you came that we might have life and have it abundantly, and you emptied yourself, taking the form of a slave, that we might be free and died, that we might live. Give us the grace to be stripped bare of all that separates us from you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified Jesus. And with him they crucified two criminals one on his right and one on his left, and Jesus between them. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, he was numbered with the transgressors. He hurts all over. He is tired and thirsty. But he looks at the people who have hurt him, and instead of feeling anger, Jesus is still able to feel love for them and all people. He does not curse the soldiers. Instead, he prays, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And then crying with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And he bowed his head and handed over his spirit. Crucified Savior, naked God, you hang disgraced and powerless. 
Grieving, we dare to hope as we, await, as we wait at the cross with your mother and your friend. Let us pray. O oh God, for our redemption, you gave your only son to the death of the cross and through his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of death. Grant us so to die daily to sin that we might evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. The body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the crowds finally go away, a few of Jesus' followers are brave enough to ask for his body so that they can bury it. Two men carefully remove the body from the cross and lay it in the arms of his waiting mother. Tears run down Mary's cheeks as she holds the son given to her so many years before. Crucified Lord, Son, Savior, you are resurrection and life, peace and comfort for us, but deepest sorrow for your mother as you are taken down from the cross. Make us shine with your love toward all who mourn. Let us pray. Beloved Savior, you return to the Father all that he had given you so that he might restore all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we ask you, to give generously of ourselves in all that we do for you, so that like you, we might be made perfect in a new resurrection. Amen. Amen. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Mary and the friends of Jesus prepare his body for burial and lay it in a tomb cut from solid rock. They have forgotten, or perhaps failed to believe, the promise Jesus made to them. He will rise from the dead. As they roll the rock across the doorway, sealing the tomb, they feel that their time with Jesus has come to an end. Life has changed forever. Cold stone, a shroud, darkness, Sabbath rest at last. The disciples gather in fear, a grain of wheat waits for spring. Let us pray. Alpha and Omega, you are beginning and end. In death, you conquered death so that even at the grave, we praise your name. Help us to know you as the way, the truth, and the life, and to lead others out of darkness and into your light. This we pray in the name of Jesus, our crucified Lord, the King of glory, the King of peace. Amen. Amen. Christ for us became obedient unto death. Even death on the cross. Gather your children to you, O God. As a hen gathers her brood to protect them. 
Jesus, you are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us, and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labor we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Gather your children to you, O God. As a hen gathers her brood to protect them. O God of unchanging power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the working of your Holy Spirit, bring about your plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. <laughs>